Welcome back to the Nerbin channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to connect your Micro Four Thirds camera or Olympus camera to a telescope. All right, here we are at my F5 8 inch Newtonian. Now, a really quick Google search for connecting your MFT camera to a telescope surprisingly does not come up with very many results, which kind of baffles me because there's actually a ton of ways to connect your MFT camera to a telescope. Uh, there are more options with Micro Four Thirds than any other format or lens bayonet out there. And that's simply because, well, we have a shorter flange back focus distance, and so that gives us just a lot more options. Now, there are bayonet adopters that allow you to tilt the camera. There are bayonet adopters that are quite simple, just screw on types. And then there are even bayonet adopters that basically have built in focal reducers in them, which shortens the focal length of your telescope, increases the speed of it. And in astrophotography, speed is everything. Okay. And it allows you to basically capture a lot more light because you're, you're basically doing a wider field of view. Now, this particular guy right here, this is a simple M42 to MFT adapter. And then screwed to it, I have an M42 to M48 millimeter thread adapter. And that has a 10 millimeter spacing. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. All right, let me show you the adapter. It's right here. This, it's very simple. It's, this one is called a T2 to M42. Although a lot of them are going to be titled like this one. This is actually my Olympus T to OM converter. It's going to be an M42 to Micro Four Thirds or whatever type bayonet you have. Now, M42 is actually a lens bayonet mount which was used mainly by Eastern Bloc countries, East Germany, Romania, Russia, so forth during the Cold War. And it basically, it's a threaded type lens bayonet mount, and it is a 42 millimeter diameter thread, and then the thread pitch is 0.75. Now, wait, if you're saying to me right now, hold up now, Wikipedia says it's a one millimeter thread pitch. That's because Wikipedia is actually wrong. I don't know why they say, and they insist that it's a one millimeter thread pitch. However, every single M42 lens or M42 thread adopter that I've ever purchased has always been a 0.75 millimeter thread pitch. So, purchase with confidence, basically an M42 to four thirds adopter will get you in there right, right? Now, let's talk a little bit about the back focus. So the back focus of the micro four thirds system is a shallow 19 something millimeters. Once you put this guy on here, okay, this M42 adopter, it'll basically set your back focus distance to 45.4 millimeters. Now, if you're using a focal reducer, you're gonna want to use a 10 millimeter spacer like this one here, so that you'll get 55, approximately millimeters of back focus. Now, it's not exactly 55 millimeters, however, you're using a micro four third sensor, it's a little bit smaller, back focus doesn't have to be on to the 10th of a millimeter like you do with a larger format sensor. This is kind of one of the reasons why I tell people, don't buy a big sensor. If you're starting out astrophotography, you will just give yourself headaches. This guy right here, this is actually a M42 to Olympus OM adopter, and then I have an OM adopter to four thirds adopter for this Olympus E1 right here. And I actually used to have another adopter that went from four thirds to micro four thirds on top of that. So I had three different adopters in order to get from my telescope down to my actual camera. Now, the M42, M42 millimeter threads are found on quite a few scopes, but really the majority of scopes are gonna be M48. So that's, that's one of the reasons why this 10 millimeter adapter that I have here, a spacer I should say, this one goes from M48.75 threads per pitch to M42, which is 42 millimeter diameter at 0.75 thread per millimeter. This series right here will get you adapted to just about any telescope out there. And, and of course, there are lots of other options out there. And another thing to note too, the M42 system, okay, you can, you can loosen these Allen screws all the way around here, which will actually allow you to rotate the clock position of the threads so that way when you 
put your camera onto your telescope, you can get it oriented however you want. And that was just something that was by nature because, uh, you know, it's a thread type adoption or a thread type lens mount. So here, I'm gonna show you just how easy this is to, to attach here. This is a Sharpstar 6180PH Mark II. And I've got right here, because this is an M48 by 0.75 threads per millimeter pitch on it, I have an adopter. It's an M48 to M42 adopter. I'm just gonna thread that on there like that. This is 10 millimeters thick. And then I have my M42 to micro four thirds, all right? And this has a back focus of 45.4 millimeters. So the 10 millimeters plus this, that's about 55 and a half millimeters, which is actually what this scope needs in order to get correct back focus. So you just thread it on there just like that. And then I'm gonna take my, this is my Olympus EM1X. And just like that, as you can see, I'm kind of a little bit upside down. I can uh, basically loosen those Allen screws and key it such so that it'll be oriented you know, in a little more comfortable of a fashion. But there you go, super easy to do. Really, MFT has more options for adopting your camera to a telescope than any other format out there. Uh, it really is an awesome format to start with for that in that respect.